Hi. Welcome to the coaching game. And my cohort here, Terry Yaffe. Terry Yaffe here, Coaches Creating Change. Here we are into October already. Unbelievable. Um, I, I'm still getting used to 2022, to tell you the truth. It's like, oh, don't forget to change the year. But yeah, it's it's been slipping on by very quickly. And and on that note, Terry and I were talking about it's like, so what do we do for the next three months? You know, because the time has gone so quickly. And that means sometimes some goals we got, we got a lot accomplished, some we didn't. So we were thinking, what about rather than a year end um, evaluation, what about a three quarter year evaluation to see where we are and um, where you want to go? You know, um, so that that was our thought for this show. It's like, OK, how do we there's still time. Um, <laughs> how do we use our time? Well, you know, uh, so um, we had some thoughts on that. So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Terry, do you want to start or I will? doesn't matter um i just want to know what happened to the last <laughs> 10 months how, how did we get here uh, uh you know it's so a lot i think for a lot of people maybe i'm wrong is you make plans you want to do something and i know for me i'll put my head down and then it'll be two months later and i wouldn't have done it so I love the idea of what what did you do over the last 10 months that you wanted to do and had in place? And what didn't you do that you still have three months to catch up and or roll it over till 2023? <laughs> Which is fast approaching. I yeah. know, I know. The, the thing, I think the thing is, and another that those are great ways to get started and and it's just okay if you didn't do it why didn't you do it you know it was was it a goal that sounded that had a lot of value in january or december 31st and january 1st and did something change did um did your values shift or did you add something on that seemed more important it's like so not only what didn't you do and how can you get it done? It's like, do you really want to get it done if you didn't do it? I mean, you're right. We had nine months to to get her done, as they say. And um, if we didn't, there could have been valid reasons why we didn't. So I think I think there's a couple of things. There's flexibility, which we love to talk about, how you how you can be flexible. But there's also um, grace, a period of grace. It's like, OK, so I didn't get this done. Um, Am I going to punish myself or am I going mm. to reward myself? Maybe I chose something more important. And those are uh, crazy guidelines, but I think you have to go with your gut, even though, as, as you said, the time is zipping by. It's it's just, it could just be a matter of timing. It's just who has the time to do that or to get right. started with that? Yeah. I, everything you said is absolutely accurate, I think. And I, uh, I think that sometimes we get so ambitious that we pile things it's like Thanksgiving, you know, you pile all of this stuff on yeah. your plate <laughs> thinking, oh, I can do this. Right. And then as you read through it, you say, wait a second, mm -hmm. can't do all of that. And I think that we all become ambitious, some people, some not, and we pile on too much. I and... love that analogy. Thanksgiving and the, the Thanksgiving place. Oh, you're oh. right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Metaphors. My last podcast was with Todd Churches, and we talked all about storytelling and metaphors. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So I think that we tend to do that. And then it comes down to how can I separate all of this mm -hmm. and what looks that I can tackle and appealing and what, eh, not so much. And we do what we do. And then we look back and we say, wait a second, some of us, I didn't get to do all of it. So uh, I, 
you know, as we look to the last three months, perhaps look at, well, this is what's left over on my plate. Mm -hmm. What do I actually do? I wrap want? it up and put it right. in the refrigerator. Right. And You're talk. right. Yeah. You're right. Put it, freeze it. Right. Till next year <laughs> and let it thaw out. Or was it really important enough? Or was I trying to prove something to myself? Mm, yeah. That oh, I can I can do all of this. Look at me. But that's not the case. And I, for one, um, certainly had a couple of goals and some I didn't get to. And I think it's okay. I think you have to give yourself permission to look at what's there and say, you know what? If it's worthy enough and valuable enough, maybe I don't get to it this year. Maybe I start kind of easing out the year mm -hmm. and figuring out what do I want to accomplish next year? What have I done this year? What did I feel good about? What am I totally taking off my plate? And what can I freeze <laughs> and then pull out if we're going to stay with that yeah. and let it thaw out for next year, because next year is around the corner. When we think about Thanksgiving is here almost, mm -hmm. not a lot of work. And then there's the holidays, which I try to take time off right? Um, to rethink and what am I going to do next year? So it's a kind of an interesting time. Always. And we found that since 2020. It's been an interesting time, no matter what's going on. But you know what? I think it'd be a great idea to use you and me as an example. I know you had a goal this year that you were dead set determined you were going to do. And I have a goal for next year that I think I'm going to get rid of uh, one of my <laughs> projects. So let's talk about the positive. At well, they're both positive. They're both positive. So, but you, you, you tell us about your podcast and what made you so dead set determined. And how did you do it? How did you do it? Because you managed to get it done. I did. Um, it was something I wanted, mm -hmm. and usually they say after the third one, most people stop. Really, they don't move on. Right. Hmm. I will finish the year with the 24. I have everyone in place. For me, that was a goal I had. And it, it ate up and took up a lot of my time. I still have some clients that I work with, but the podcast was enormous. It was an enormous undertaking. And in the next two or three weeks, I have to decide if I'm going to continue. Mm. That's really on my plate right now. Do I continue into next year? Or do I say, you know what? I did what I wanted to do. I loved it. It took up so much time that do I want to move forward next year? It's not even the people. I already have enough people for half the year. Mm. It's it's everything that goes with it. And that's what I'm looking at over the next couple of weeks to think about what do I want to do? Wow. What a great point, because I, you yeah. know, we didn't even touch on that, but it's like it's good. And what happens when you achieve your goal? Um, mm. do you have to take it further. Do you have to continue it? Or, or do you just go, wow, that I did it. You know, I did it and rest on your laurels. So a uh, good point on that. It's like, if, if, if it's mm. the accomplishment of it, and it's like, whoa, everybody said I couldn't do it, but I did it. Here you go. Um, or is it that you're having a ball and you want to keep doing it? And that's kind of where I am when in 2010, when I was um, ICF president, uh, ICF New York City president, uh, just before Terry became ICF yeah. New York City president, right. I, I decided, oh, I think we should do a radio show, you know, sponsoring ICF <laughs> and let people, let all the coaches listen. And and so I've been doing, I realized that I've been doing this for 12 years, my gosh. And um, I have, and I have a co-host now who, who um, 
Well, let's see, ICF, ICF, NYC presidents stick together, at least Terry and yeah. I do. Uh, we we kind of hang together and right. see what we all do in there. And we love to keep the connection going. And so I, I Bernie became um, my co-host and we decided that we loved, like you, we love the people. Well, I love learning new things and I love getting to know people and showcasing them. And that really mm -hmm. enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. But I think we're deciding that... Um, we're not going to be doing that. Uh, we're not going to do it again next year. And and it's like, is there a bit of sadness? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's because it's um, it was a goal, and it was you mm -hmm. know, and I played it out. Goodness mm -hmm. gracious! But um, it, it's like I don't think it's serving me right now. It's like there are other things that I mm -hmm. I have nothing specific planned, but I want that space to. Mm -hmm let it mm -hmm. fill up because I have learned if I've learned nothing else that if you create a space, something will fill it. So mm -hmm. rather than go, Oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going right. to do? So exactly. Um, Perfect. That's, so yeah. you, you're getting started and I'm going, okay, all right. I, I think I'm done with that. And you might be done too. And, and that's, that's okay too. How, how will you evaluate that? How will you, what, what tricks do you have to, to make that decision? You know, one of my goals was to reach a thousand downloads mm. and I will ah, cool. before the year's up. Wow. So I have to think about the time. I don't have anyone working with me. I really want to find a marketing podcast intern that can really do some of the social media stuff because yeah. I do almost everything. And I have to think about what would I fill my time with? Mm -hmm. That is um, uppermost in my mind. I love the idea of staying relevant, of talking to all these people. Yeah. So again, I'm, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not, I think I'm on the fence of 50, 50, maybe not even maybe continuing versus maybe 60 versus 40. So um, I, I'm not someone to give up on something. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a personal choice, right? Of what would I do if I didn't do this? Okay, that that's... Um cool and that that's a great topic for coaching for for mm. a lot of people who are in mm. thinking about transitions mm -hmm. um i there there are a couple ways that you can uh make decisions or help whoever you're working with make decisions one of course is the pro and con list it's like you know what's good and what's what's not good about this and see which one comes up the most another my favorite my favorite is it's like um, ask yourself if this was your sister or your mother or your husband um, or your wife, what, what advice would you give them? Take yourself out of the equation and say, what advice would you give them? And because we love to give advice and we're never allowed to as, you know, we're not supposed to. As right, well. Well. Um, so uh, it's like, okay, what would you tell them if they came to you and asked that question and, and sort of neutralize all the emotional stuff that goes with it. And, and I guess the third one would be, um, gut, go with your gut, go with, oh, oh that, <laughs> that's yeah. Go with your gut and try to get in touch with it. But, um, another would be, um, uh, ask yourself in six months, how, how will I feel if I make if I decide I'm not going to do my podcast, how will I feel in six months? Or if I decide I'm going to do my radio show mm. in six months, uh, how am I going to feel? And and sort of put it in the future, get put it on someone else's shoulders and just take yourself out of the equation as much as you can. Yet go with your gut. Go figure that out. <laughs> I, I, you know, incongruent. Yeah. I've only been doing this a year. Mm -hmm. Not like you've been doing it well, for right. like 12 years. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm almost thinking a year isn't enough time mm -hmm. to really make a choice. Wow. So I 
I'm thinking maybe it's another year that I do it. Mm -hmm. I'm meeting such incredible people I know. and talking to so many people that it's, it's almost a network, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That I'm not ready to hang my hat up. Mm -hmm. So um, again, it's, it's, it's a thought process. As so I said, I have, I have probably, another couple of weeks before I start putting the wheels in motion for 23, because I have to start interviewing people. I can't wait until January. <laughs> the first podcast, you know, um, goes off the be very beginning of January. And it's hard to believe that a year has almost gone by. I remember Mog Mook, who's the CEO of ICF, your first, my, yes. very, yeah. my first, <laughs> other than myself doing the intro, mm -hmm. she was my first guest. So, you know, I'm very proud. I really am of what I've accomplished. And you should be. I mean, so, I've been talking about it for a, a while. It wasn't I, a rash decision. No, it was like, I think I want to do a podcast. I'm going to do a podcast. It's like, I did a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> not it's, quite that easy it, it took yeah. a couple of uh, months in between but yeah that that was a well thought out decision for you yeah so um I kind of have the hang of it maybe ne next year I'll kind of be able to move at a, a different little different pace luckily I can write so I, I'm able to do all that we'll see yeah we'll see I have another two weeks before I have to put in place my, I, I already have an idea for January, February, and March to do a wellness, a three wow. months of getting started. Great. With yeah. Different people, a health coach, a fitness coach, um, another mental health coach. What do you need to get going for the first three months of the new year? Cool. So, and, and you know, that that's a good point because well, I don't know. I don't know the commitment that you have to make, but it's like, okay, you don't have to, you could say, let me do the next three months and see how it goes. And then maybe I'll add on three more months. I know it takes a lot of pre-planning in between that, yeah. but um, you know, the, unless like I, for the tele for this television show, I have to make a commitment for every um, quarter. So you, there is a commitment, but I don't know how it works with podcast, but um, um, I, I, I have a schedule. Mm -hmm. that I have a podcast editor. So wow. I've got, I've got, I have a podcast that I'm supposed to do Friday. I'm doing it Sunday. It has to get to the podcast editor by the beginning of next week because it runs the week after. Wow. So everything is on a schedule. And, and you know what? Maybe that's a great idea. Maybe I think about, okay, maybe I do for six months. Yeah, and next it came year, up with a great see. theme for the beginning of the year. So mm -hmm. maybe after the third month, you'll come up with another theme and, and that might rejuvenate. But I, um, and a great coach, and I don't know if you know him or not, Mark Shaw. Um, mm, he, I know the name. You, yeah, yeah, he's been, he's been around for a great, and he's a great coach. And I remember he was um, teaching a class and he said something about, he goes, you know, my business is getting bigger and bigger and mm. I'm getting tired and mm. more tired and more mm. tired. And suddenly I realized what was making me tired. It's like, I hate the administrative part of this. It's like, you know, booking the clients and paying. And the right, end. right. And, and he said, and I said, so he, he, I said, well, how can I solve this? And he goes, I got a virtual assistant. He goes, I am so happy. He said, I get to do exactly what I love. And I, I put this off on someone, put the things that I don't right. like off on someone who right. is capable right. of doing it. Right. And that might be your marketing person that you're looking for. That might make just the fun part of t interviewing It, it might, it might. Yeah. Um, I am looking for an intern, mm -hmm. somebody that is looking for credit or looking to put mm -hmm. the, uh, the experience on their CV or resume. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm looking into that. I'm having I've come up short right now, but yeah, um, we'll see. We'll yeah, see. but that's a, that's another technique that you can use when you're trying to um 
decide whether you want to want to continue doing something. It's like, I hate this expression, but don't throw the baby out with right. the water. Yeah. It's like, you know, um, the, keep a, it's not as good as your Thanksgiving one, but <laughs> the baby, you know, but yeah, if the bath right. water is dirty, then let somebody else clean it, <laughs> you know, exactly. Like whatever exactly. you don't like. So it's like, you might want to think about, okay, what don't I like about this and who can help me, you know, do it or, or do it for me. Um, right. So there's right. just a couple of ways to evaluate, um, you know, what where you are and if you're feeling discontent and, and we so often do all of our mm. clients are almost feeling discontent. It's like they, even if they're right where they should be, they want to go a little higher or, you know, or they want to switch. So if, if you're feeling discontent or you feel like something isn't right, um, then you, then you need to start evaluating and go, OK, what's working? What isn't working? Right. Um, and what I can I do that, to make it better? Yeah. And I think these next three months are great months mm. to think about, you know, what did I do? Why, again, mm -hmm. how come I didn't do right. everything? And do I really need that? Mm -hmm. And, you know, looking to the new year, what do I want to achieve? What's What's going to be of value to me? What's going to enhance my quality of life? Yeah, yeah. And what do I want to take off my plate? What do I want to put on? Is there a new project that I know is going to take up a huge amount of time and I really want to do it? Okay, then what needs to go away for someone to spend time creating and building that project and and also um what factors came along that changed that totally changed your goals it could be mm -hmm. um god god help the people in florida you know but it could be you lost your house mm -hmm. and, and your mm -hmm. priority is finding a place right. to live and your right. goals can be put aside for right your career maybe or maybe you um need a career to uh, buy a new house it's, but there are there are so many things with covid floating around still mm -hmm. and um that's another thing yeah i just, think that's not going to i'm sorry but that's oh. not going to go away and people mm -hmm. still think about it yes yes and how does it affect you your goal how does it affect um i think we're all tiptoeing back now when you walk through times square on a saturday night it's like no, there's no tiptoeing. There's the masses are back and the theaters are going. And right. but I think I think on a personal level, I think we're all tiptoeing back in. It's like, okay, we had that two years of mm -hmm. inactivity. And now it can be something like you said, you start stacking it all up. It's like, okay, well, I missed this. I want to do this and mm -hmm. I want to do that. Right. And right. you might have to go, wait, what am I physically capable of? Mm -hmm. um, and what what time wise is it possible? But I think we're all I really believe we're all still adjusting. I mean, New York City is um, people are, are. Are you going back to the office or not? Right, even right. Um, legislation. What do you do? You have to go back to the office. Do you have to no. get vaccinated? And so it, I think we're all trying to figure out where do we fit in and what what is it that we want? I think we've been made aware that time is precious and um valuable and so we want to use it to the best of our ability if we can so that's true things to consider. that's true and there are you know a lot of factors if you have a family mm -hmm. what's the commitment right. that your family puts on you ah right <laughs> um and that's that does come into play when you have to look at your whole life if you're yes. single and don't have anybody or maybe you have ancillary people in your life or, you know, you're married, you have kids. What is that going to put on? And I think we have to be realistic in our approach as to what are we willing to take on? I think hybrid work is definitely there for mm -hmm. most. There are businesses that will require people to come back full time, mm -hmm. five days a week. Um, but from what I see and hear, it's probably hybrid, three and two. So I, the one thing we all try to do at the beginning of the year is to pile it on. 
right. right? Right. And then I think we have to be smart enough, wise enough to look at it and say, okay, I don't want the peas or I don't want the <laughs> this or I don't want and pick the favorites. We are back to Thanksgiving. I love it. <laughs> the, the favorites um, of of what we really think we can digest ah, in good the word. coming year. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? I I I think back to the theme of this show, I think these three months are a great time to sort of go, okay, these are all my goals. Now, mm. let me weed out, you know, let mm -hmm. me weed out or let me prioritize. Mm -hmm. Let me decide which one, what's a, what's a deal breaker? What do I have to do that I, you know, and right. it may be take care of, earn enough money to take care of my family. Um, but right. it's like, then I, I, this is rather than, you know, everybody's doing this on January 1st. It wouldn't mm. it be great if you were kind of set the game. yeah just it's like okay I've already done this and I this is my priority I'm going to fit this in if I can I'm going to drop this and maybe in six months I'll get back to it mm -hmm. and so rather than bemoan what you haven't gotten done this year right. uh, first of all celebrate always celebrate um what what you uh get done but um you know think about it. it's like well what what am I going to what do I want to get done? What can I do in the next three months? And then what do I want to do um, when it comes to 2023? Isn't it amazing to say? I know, that? I know. It's very hard to even uh, yeah. think yeah. about it. But you're right. Uh, now's a good time to get a leg up, if you oh. will. <laughs> and um, think about what, do, what did I accomplish? Kind of look in the rearview mirror look at the mm. dashboard and look out the windshield, you know, the whole car, what, what, yeah, yeah. The rear view mirror will tell you what you've done, what's worked, what hasn't worked. The dashboard is the present. What do you want to take? And of course the windshield is moving forward. What, what, what looks appealing as you head into the new year? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to talk, talk to Todd Churches. You are magnificent <laughs> with metaphors. I need some help because I have metaphor envy. And it's like, you are doing, you are just knocking them out of the ballpark. It's the only metaphor I, I can come up with. <laughs> I do that. And I said to Todd, I've been doing that for years. And, yeah. So it was very nice conversing with him. Well, um, it's been very nice conversing with you, but we are out of time. Oh my gosh. So I know. Okay. What we're going to do is um, start thinking about what we've been talking about, mm. and we will get together again next month and see how far we got on this oh, whole thing. All right. But thank Definitely. you so much for thank you, I love working with you, and uh, I'll see you in November. You will. Take care. You Have too. Have a great October. You too. Bye-bye.